Union County, just one of the areas feeling the impacts of Debbie today with many of you running into impassable roads, just like what we're seeing here. Yes, WCNC Charlotte's Miles Harris has been in the area all day hearing from emergency officials tonight. How's it looking right now, Miles? Yeah, we'll call on Vanessa. One of the areas of concern for Union County officials deal with the roadways in those conditions. And let me give you an example of exactly what we're talking about here. So we're in Waxhall here. This is Newtown Road. And if you take a look to the left here, you can see a lot of that flooding, a lot of that heavy water here onto the left side of the road. But if you take a look here, you can still see it's spilling its way onto the roadway, making a lot of issues for drivers and travelers out here in this area. Now, if you're curious on just how high the water is here, take a look at this guardrail here. You can still see see just how high that water stands and even past that guardrail. You can see that electric box to the left of the roadway here. Well, just a couple of hours ago, that electric box was barely visible. Now, the strong storms and heavy rain are hitting Union County in a number of ways, and it's more than just the flooding. Monroe first responders were called to action early this morning to respond to a tree that fell into a power line and then smashed into the side of a car. Now, here are some of the images from that incident this morning. Now, it happened on a secret shortcut road in Monroe, and it's also important to note here that the woman that was inside of that vehicle was able to get out of her car safely. Now, Andrew Ansley with Union County Emergency Management told me that residents really need to heed warnings and if possible, stay off some of these roadways. We focus a lot on um, trying to keep the community safe, trying to keep the community from evading barricades, driving around them, you know, encouraging people to stay off the road if they can. I mean, this, uh, this storm is not something that popped up last night. So this is you know, this has been well in the media for days. Now, Andrew also told us that as of the power outages in Union County, as of about four o'clock this afternoon, they still dealt with about 500 customers that were without power. Now, we have seen that number go down, but that also goes on top of the 20 plus road closures that are also impacting Union County. Most of those coming from that weather that we have seen from Debbie. But again, obviously a lot of concerns for people making sure that they're staying off these roadways as we've seen some cars making their way around here. But again, those what those barricades are here for to keep people off these roadways until that water completely removed moves itself uh, from this road as well. But reporting live here in Union County, Miles Harris, WCNC Charlotte. Wow, Miles, those are some stunning images.